Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today you're joining me from my closet. Welcome. It's kind of weird getting like lighting and my camera set up, so I'm sorry if I get like really washed out or really dark as I go back and stuff, cause like, I feel like it gets really hard for you guys to see me, I don't know. But anyways, today I have an interesting video for y'all. So, if you follow me on Instagram or just know anything about my life over the past couple years and stuff, I was a bikini competitor. Switched to powerlifting for a little while and then decided to take a break from focusing on competing in um, like, you know, lifting and bodybuilding type sports for a while. And that has come with a pretty significant amount of weight gain. To give you some perspective, I'm 5'2 and I've put on about 30 pounds in the past year and it seems like that 30 pounds isn't going anywhere for a while. I do think it has a little bit of something to do with an IUD that I had taken or put in and then taken out and some hormone issues that I'm having and stuff. But, you know, I've tried to kind of slim down a couple different times and I just haven't found something that is working for me currently. So something that has really been hard for me is dressing for my new body essentially it's something that you get excited about when you lose some pounds but it's something that's really daunting and scary and difficult to deal with when you put on some poundage and that's kind of what i'm going through my closet is totally fit for a body that i don't currently live in and so it's almost depressing to come in here and try and get an outfit whether it's for work or the gym or an outing with family that I feel confident in and it's a daily struggle for me to find something that I want to wear because I know that I'm going to feel confident feel like myself and be honoring my current body and my style so not to get all deep and emotional or anything, but I figured I would do, um, and I have gained weight and this crap does not fit haul. I am going to be keeping pretty much all of these clothes as re most recently I did a very, very large closet purge of just items that I never reach for anymore. So at least all the items in here I do love very dearly and I would wear a lot if they fit. And I want to keep them because I am hoping and expecting one day that um, I will be able to fit into them because let me rephrase and say that I can fit into a lot of these clothes, but even if I can squeeze into them, they do not fit like they once did and they're very kind of um, either tight or don't fit right and is and are tight in the wrong spot and loose in the wrong spot and stuff like that. So. Yeah, I thought that was a pretty long-winded way of saying that I'm pretty much just purging my closet and I'm just going to put the items that currently aren't working for me into our guest room closet for the time being. Hopefully one day I will be able to pull them back out, but it's just so, like I said, hard for me to come in here each day and look at this gorgeous closet of clothes that I love so much that I just cannot wear so yeah i hope this got i hope this is helpful for you guys and i hope this kind of inspires you to adjust your closet to, for your current body because i know it can be so hard to like hold on to that you know extra extra small bikini that you look used to look so good in and you know, I'm not saying that you have to get rid of everything that doesn't fit for you, but maybe like me, you're just going to move it out of sight and out of mind for a little while so there's not that day-to-day -day pressure of coming in here and feeling like, um, you know, for lack of a better term, a complete fat ass because none of your clothes fit because that's not the case. I am still athletic and healthy and beautiful in my own special way and so are you and your closet and your style and how you feel in your clothing should reflect that. This is going on really long. I think I've made all the points I wanna make. Let's start purging this closet. So, how I'm gonna do this is I'm pretty much gonna start with my workout stuff and I'm only going to save the items or leave the items in here that I feel really confident in wearing at the gym because I gravitate towards the same items over and over again. And I've noticed that I wear a lot of crop tops when I'm at the gym, but I like ones that are a little less tight and I like ones that are a little bit a longer of a crop so I'll show you guys an example recently I've been loving wearing this um, cropped 1999 Disney vintage t-shirt and I haven't so much been loving this yellow one and you can see how much higher the crop is on this one 
and I know this is really like nitpicky but I just really wanted to give you guys an insight on like how I'm feeling and how these different items make me feel the yellow one doesn't come down far enough on my back to cover up the rolls that I get um, from my leggings sometimes pinching or my bra pinching and sometimes when I'm in the gym it just like it makes a little uncomfortable and I feel like I'm always like tugging down to kind of cover up that area um, and you know I'm totally riding that line of being body positive no matter what I look like but then also honoring the fact that something just doesn't make me feel confident and like that I look my best and that's totally okay so going to get rid of the items that I just don't feel confident in at the gym okay so this is everything that I have picked that is going in the guest room closet um quite a few here but you can still see I have plenty of workout items to choose from plenty to have at least one a week without having to do a wash so I feel pretty good about that and I find it really ironic that the things I feel confident on in are literally white gray and black there's literally two colored items in here and all of this almost all of this are colorful items I just that's really interesting hmm interesting i'm gonna go put these in the closet bye all right now it's time to move on to this section where i have like a little bit more of my formal clothes hung so going to go through this section like i said once again and just pick out the items that really just don't fit or i don't feel confident in right now and move them on over to the storage closet Okay, so I just did all of the short sleeve shirts um, and tank tops and I found quite a lot that I don't really ever reach for because they either don't fit or I just don't feel confident in them like I keep saying and you know it's really like part of me is like sad to move these over but part of me is so relieved because it's like every time I see a top that I love so much like there's where is it this one oh, I absolutely love wearing this top I can really dress it up or dress it down I can wear it to work with a blazer or um out to dinner um at night with friends like I just really love that top and um I'm so sad to <laughs> have to move it over there but it also is really relieving because every time I look at that top and I'm like oh, I really want to wear that but I know I won't be able to fit into it it is kind of a ding to my confidence so now I'm gonna go add these to the can't wear right now closet it is so crazy to me that this is all I have left of like tank top and short sleeve shirts which I feel like looks like a lot but at the same time looks like so little compared to the insane closets you see of like youtubers and just celebrities and stuff obviously I don't have millions of dollars to spend on clothes but I feel like I do have a pretty um well <laughs> well equipped wardrobe I've definitely collected a lot of awesome items over the years but I'm definitely feeling a little bit of relief knowing I don't have to come in here tomorrow and wonder what I'm going to fit into so this is a fun little experience. I'm gonna move on to some long sleeve shirts. Okay, like I said, I moved a lot of my long sleeve items into that closet already because I don't need them for the summertime. But I did go ahead and add a couple more items like this really, really cute um, crop top. It's got these gorgeous little like bell sleeves and this really pretty print. This is from Topshop, which is one of my favorite places to shop. And then it ties around your waist with these little ties. I wore this for a photo shoot once and that's the only time I've worn it. Um, and I really wish I got more wear out of it because it's so freaking cute, but it's a size zero and I'm not a size zero right now. And that is totally okay. Maybe I'll wear it again one day. Maybe I'll hold on to it for a little while longer and let go of that dream um and that's okay too but I'm, I just hung up those items right there because there's only like five of them and I'm gonna go ahead and move on to short dresses before I take another load over to the storage closet I think the shorter dresses do um make me a little sad because I love wearing dresses in the summertime but right now I don't really wear dresses as much mainly because since my thighs have gotten a little thicker they got a little more strong they a little 
more powerful, if you know what I mean. Um, Let's not do that. Huh? Let's not do that. Are you being disrespectful and rude? I don't appreciate that. I got some hefty thighs, but they can do some work in the gym, that's for sure. She's thick, boy! <laughs> that's a thick ass boy! <laughs> Um, let me know if you guys have seen that video because it's really funny. Anyways, um, but a lot of these don't fit, but I, I absolutely love wearing short dresses in the summertime. But like I said, you know, I just, I have a feeling most of these are going to go. <laughs> like this one, Brendan bought me this one literally last summer and it's so cute. It's like this really kind of 50s pinup style wrap dress and I love it, but it does not fit right now. It is a size small from fabric and yeah. She just don't, she just don't fit the same right now. This is another one that I'm so sad. This is like my ultimate going out party dress. Want to look a little sexy. Um, and it is a super gorgeous red strappy dress. I wore this on a Valentine's Day dinner date with Brendan. And that was one of the most fun dates we've ever had together so i have such good memories of this dress and it looks really tiny holding it up but just so you guys know it is like very 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 stretchy this is from express and i love this dress i got it on an amazing good sale um but right now she needs to go in the other closet because there ain't no way i'm sliding into that this is another really like insane party going out dress i wore this to i think a semi-formal back when i was in college the plunge on this goes all the way down to like here on me and i mean if you want to show a little cleavage she is a beautiful beautiful dress but just not right now and this is the brand from the brand mistress rocks and i got it from top shop Okay, so yeah, as I kind of predicted, got rid of a lot of my short dresses. I only kept five and one is a pair of, uh, one is a pair of overalls. So yeah, definitely got rid of quite a few. And now Lily has joined me up at the top of the closet to help me with the purging process. So Thank you, sweet mama bear. You're so helpful. Yes. <laughs> oh, crazy kitties. I'm going to go put these also in the storage closet. Let's go. Okay, the last section in the hanging part of my closet is long maxi dresses and onesies. I'm probably going to go ahead and take all of the onesies over to storage because I don't really wear these except in winter when it is really, really cold. They are super, super fuzzy and I love them, but I just don't wear them in the summer because it's way too hot. Even if it's cold in my apartment, I typically just throw on a hoodie and some socks and I'm good. So definitely going to move all of those over and I'm going to use my or move my Hercules and Meg costume over because I just don't need it in my everyday closet. I think it's gonna be a little bit easier um, with my maxi dresses though, because um, a lot of these are pretty stretchy and a lot of them I actually bought after I gained a little bit of weight. So I'm hoping that I can keep um, a lot of these, if not most of them. Okay, that's not too bad. I would say I kept about half and I'm getting rid of about half. Um, like I suspected, a lot of these, sorry, I keep moving around the camera. I'm just making sure you guys can see what I'm talking about. Um, a lot of these are just stretchier, um, you know, and like these tube top ones are like ruched, so they're really easy to stretch, um, and fit, um, a variety of different sizes, whether I'm small or a little bit bigger or whatever. So yeah, the only one that I'm really bummed I'm having to move to the other closet is this red dress also from Topshop. You guys can see how much I love Topshop. This is probably my all-time favorite dress I've ever owned. And there's already some sections of it that I actually do need to get repaired. As you can see, there's like this really cute back detail where there's like two straps that go into one. And this one broke, so it's just tied on there, which is really sad and pathetic. But yeah, I absolutely love this dress. It's so gorgeous, and I feel so beautiful when I wear it. But right now, it just does not fit. It's a U.S. size 4, um, and that is not my current size. So going to have to move her to the not right now maybe sometime closet and i'm gonna take all of these onesies with me let's go 
This closet is getting emptier and emptier and I can't tell if that's making me anxious or slightly excited to fill it with items that I do feel confident um, in and that fit me how they should. <laughs> One definite silver lining of this process is that I really did want this back rack to be clear because I want to put like either a mirror or like Lena painting up on top of this bookshelf that's holding my shoes and maybe put a couple of trinket dishes to hold some jewelry and just kind of make it feel more like a styled closet rather than a bunch of clothes just shoved in here. Um, I just feel like that would feel really good to have it, you know, feel a little bit more styled and done up. Um, Mama is still in here helping me out and now Max has joined me. Hi, Boos. I love you. Thank you for helping mom. That is so sweet. I seriously have the best freaking cats in the world. But now it's time to, <laughs> hi buddy. Now it's time to move up to the top where I've kind of separated things out for the most part, but I really wanna make sure I'm actually physically moving the things that don't fit to the other closet. Can you move please? Hi. That's so sweet, now move. Go. Okay. I have quite the pile down here of pants. When I started gaining a little bit of weight, pants were the first thing that stopped fitting me correctly, um, especially like jeans and um, tighter wearing pants. So yeah, I'm glad to get these purged out of the closet to make room for items that do fit me and not have them literally over my head over here staring down at me like you wish <laughs> y'all literally since I moved the clothes I'm gonna have to like lay t-shirts on here because it's hurting Max's paws look he like can't oh baby boy come here look it look at his paws they're like pressing through it's so uncomfortable look at him baby boy come here oh I feel so bad it's like hurting his paws to walk across it Okay, I'm definitely gonna hang like a I'm gonna like lay a blanket up here or something. Yeah, it's nice to have um, Some extra space. I just moved my shorts right here and my jeans over here And then all this is just like my pajamas which looks a mess, but it doesn't really bother me that much just because um, I honestly don't reach for that stuff very often. I more so go for leggings most of the time. So yep Okay guys closet is all good to go. I did a little bit of rearranging some cleaning up laid a little mat for Max and Lily, and of course, it didn't take long. I kicked him out, and then he's right back. They just love this closet. I think it feels safe to them because it's like small and away from everything, so it's quieter, and they especially love being up here, and I think they like it from like the perspective that cats would like be up in trees and like looking down hunting. I think they just love it. So yeah, I wanna make sure it's comfy enough for them to love, which is such a cat mom thing to do. But anyways, okay, gonna give you guys a quick little tour and then let's wrap up this video. So now as you come in, as you can see, Brendan's side has not changed at all, but I've made this cute little area where I have my shoes and then I have Brendan and I's little like savings thing that is actually really for Disney, but it just says date night because it like changes, which is so funny. It says couples therapy, date night, anniversary, and first home, which is so cute. I can't get a good last one because like the, the stuff like gets in the way so you can't like turn it as easily, but ah! This is actually savings for Disney. So anyways, and then I have my little ring dish with a couple of my rings and um, some hair bands and then my little H sign and then a couple of the perfumes that I rotate through. So I love that I have this little like more formal getting ready type area. And then over here again, it's in the same order, just kind of differently. This time I hung up my sports bras though. And then I have my gym shirts leggings, formal shirts in um, like, you know, um, what do you call it? Sleeveless, <laughs> short sleeves, long sleeves, and then dresses. And like I said earlier, I have pajamas, shorts, and jeans and stuff up there. And that is my new closet that is all ready for my new body. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give a thumbs up and also subscribe by hitting that big red button down below. It means so much to me to have more and more of you come join me and hang out with me on this channel. I really have been loving filming some more 
content recently and it's felt really good and refreshing so yeah follow the socials down below as well and i will see you guys in the next video bye